Hello everyone, it's Shannon here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we are going to create a single layer card with one of the new stencil and stamp sets from Waffle Flower Crafts. Today we'll be using the stencil and stamp lighthouse set. This set comes with that gorgeous lighthouse stamp set and a coordinating stencil. You can see on the back here, the stencil and the stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Here again is that stamp set, lots of beautiful sentiments and several images to build your scene. And here is that lighthouse stencil. The stencil comes with all the masks attached to the stencil. There's just a couple little tabs that you have to clip with your scissors to remove them. I've already even removed some of them as you can see. I'm going to remove this lighthouse real quick so I'm just going to grab my pair of scissors and snip the tiny little tabs. There's just three here on the lighthouse. A lot of images just have two and I'm going to keep that mask once I snip it out of here. Uh, those masks are help, uh, handy to keep and you'll see it, how we use the kind of spotlight from the lighthouse as a mask later. I have a card base here. This is a two, uh, a four, an A2 top folding card base turned on its side. I'm just going to roll some tape here so I can keep the card base closed while I do all my ink blending. I'm going to start with that kind of beam of light, that opening that's in the stencil, and I'm just using the image from the stamp set here to kind of figure out where I need or where I want that beam of light to kind of start from. Once I get it into the right spot, I'll then grab a couple pieces of painter's tape. I did put these on my clothes to kind remove some of the stick from that and use that to hold the mask down as well or hold the stencil down as well as kind of mask off any openings that are in the stencil. I'm going to start ink blending here a little gradation with a mustard seed and then I'll move on to spiced marmalade. Again trying to create a little gradation. I want it to be a little bit orangier and darker towards the where the lighthouse is going to go and kind of fade out. So now that I've finished all my ink blending, I'm going to remove my uh, tape and remove my stencil. You can see that gorgeous beam of light there. Now I'm going to quickly show you how I clean my stencils. I like to place my stencils on top of a towel and then clean them with my damp chamois. I find that's a really great way to make sure you get all that ink off of there. Now I'm going to use the mask here for that beam of light, but first I'm going to spray it with some pixie spray so the back of it's a little bit uh, sticky, a little bit tacky. Then I'll place it down over where I ink blended that beam of light use a piece of tape to kind of hold it in place and then mask off the lower kind of quarter of this uh, card front for the to kind of protect the water. I'm going to start here by ink blending the sky with first mustard seed and then I'll move on to picked raspberry. I am going to kind of overlap that picked raspberry and that mustard seed just a little bit because when you overlap those two colors together and here I'm going back with that mustard seed to really enhance that overlapping air overlapped area. Um, it creates a beautiful kind of orangey red color, really pretty color. Now I'm going to move on to peacock feathers. Again, kind of going over where that picked raspberry is because that almost creates like a, a violet where the picked raspberry and the peacock feathers kind of meet. And again, once I kind of ink blend a little bit, I'll go back with the previous color to kind of smooth out that, that transition and that blend. Here I am finishing up the very tip top with a, just a tiny bit of blueprint sketch. I wanted to bring that in a little bit here because I'm going to incorporate that on the bottom more and I thought that was a nice kind of way to balance out the colors in this really vibrant uh, landscape. So now I've finished ink blending, I'm going to remove my mask, remove all of my tape. And then I will reposition that same tape that I used earlier. I did clean it off before I stuck it down with my chamois just to remove any of that residual um, mustard seed that was on there. And kind of masked off the sky so I can ink blend the water. I started with peacock feathers and now I'm moving on to blueprint sketch. Then I'll go back to peacock feathers just to kind of, you know, smooth out that gradation, make a nice a beautiful transition between those two colors. So that actually completes my water and my sky, kind of the background components. Now we're going to work on this little landmass here. So I'm going to grab the stencil again, kind of position it right on that horizon line. Then I'll grab a couple pieces of, or actually just one piece of painter's tape to kind of hold it in place. And I'm going to actually ink blend this in black soot. So this is going to kind of have a silhouette look. And I really love that look of that the silhouetted dark um, images against the beautiful, really vibrant blended background. I think it's a really cool and easy way to kind of make these really striking cards. 
So now that I finished blending that, I'm going to quickly stamp a whole bunch of images, including my sentiment. This is all from that Lighthouse stamp set. I do want to point out here that the Lighthouse goes a little bit beyond the landmass, so I am going to have to mask that little bit off so it doesn't the <laughs> so it doesn't look strange. I have a little bit of full adhesive post-it note here. I'm just going to kind of rip it down to it so it's smaller and position it here where the lighthouse would be and that will just protect my my water from getting that little bit of the lighthouse kind of sticking out there and looking a little strange. Again I'm going to use black soot here, ink up all my images. Now don't be surprised here that you might have to stamp that lighthouse a couple of times. It's a very solid stamp, solid stamps you do often have to stamp a couple of times. So definitely want to use your stamp positioning tool for stamping that. Now that I've got it all stamped here nice and solid, I'm going to move on to kind of correcting this little scene here that when you stamp the lighthouse over that landmass, you kind of can see the lighthouse, it just uh, like the edge of it and it looks a little off to me. Definitely not necessary so to do this, but I like to just kind of re-blend that landmass and I think it kind of pushes that lighthouse to the background a little bit more and has a more seamless look. And that actually, after I do that, my card is done here. And I'll hold it to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details in this card. Love that bright, vibrant background with our gorgeous spotlight or beam of light coming from the lighthouse. Really cool. And all these additional images just really enhance the scene. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. And if you like this video, it's so appreciated if you consider subscribing to my channel and leaving me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.